Okay, guys, I'm online with the PLC. Uh, this is for the pick and place simulation inside Factory IO. I'm here. This all the uh, all organizational block that I wrote uh, wrote for this uh, simulation. I'm gonna go ahead and run it and see how it works. Uh, right now, I got my red light. Everything stop. I'm gonna go ahead and press the uh, start button. Uh, yes, I chose to instead of three boxes like most uh, simulations are, are, are run on this uh, specific factory scene. I chose to have four boxes instead. So right now I'm going to show you the code for this. Let me go ahead and put it on pause and show you the code. Uh, the first, uh, this is my first uh, OB. Uh, this is for the mapping of the I.O. Since I do not like working, uh, programming normally closed uh, sensors, I convert all those uh, sensors into normally open. So I went ahead and, and it, you use this instruction, the, the not instruction so I can uh, uh, inverse the polarity and convert it to normally close. This is for the inputs and some of the outputs I also uh, did some con um, a conversion so I can uh, use the latch and unlatch instead of uh, OTE. And the other one was the uh, subroutine that I created for the pick and place. This uh, subroutine handles the box six orientation over here right there you see uh if the counter since we only put in four boxes i monitor the state of, the, of my counter if you see there's zero one two or three and that's how i give the uh, my z axis the value so i know if it, i'm on the first floor which is would be this one over here, number 10, or if I'm doing my second box, which is 5.5, uh, the value. Uh, then uh, over here, I finally go back to zero. And then up here, this is where I put the orientation or my rotation of the uh, box, either 3.3 or 7.2 and 2.5 and 5.2 all right this is for the subroutine the uh, function blocks uh, responsible for my pick and place I also created a function blocks uh, for the conveyors so uh, the conveyors can uh, they both pretty much do the same thing this one the infeed and the boxes the one uh, feeding pallets and the one uh, the conveyor feeding uh, boxes so this is where I got the conveyor here. This is a very simple uh, a routine. It's based on stepping logic. Uh, I start up the conveyor if the, the start button is pressed. Then when the photo eye uh, sees the pallet, uh, or uh, let's say there is a pallet already on the photo eye, I will initiate the sequence forward until that pallet, I can no longer see it then wait for the new pallet to arrive, which is over here, down here, and finally reset my, my contactor forward. Then I, in this, uh, uh, on this step number two, I will go ahead and reset my start. This is my starting uh, a bit. And then tell my calling subroutine that this function is already done. This is where I set my done bit. 
I always use a counter uh, so I can see the counting uh, inside the subroutine and my reset logic. All right, guys, this is it. Uh, let me go ahead and run in the game and I will go ahead and continue. Hold on. I will go ahead and continue with the next uh, scene, uh, which will be the assembler. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.